So this is what an assessor will see. Um, you can skip the introduction, but it's always good to have, just in case there are some assessors that come to complete the um, assessment and are not aware or haven't done it in a while. It explains the structure of the MAC tool, but this will vary depending on the assessment you pick. So if you picked RAP, it would go through RAP, the same with ART. It does explain here when MAC is not appropriate. For example, if it is a push and pulling task, RAP would be the most appropriate. If it is a people handling task, HOP6. Um, if it's an upper limb disorder, then ART tool. So you've got some explanations here. And then you've got how to complete the assessment using the different colour coding. Then you have the option to put in the assessor. So this will be what the assessor completes. And he will then explain the purpose of the activity. Location, um, doc. individuals so you can come back and you can actually have a chat with these individuals if you need to and what items are being handled so these are boxes So all of this information here will allow you then to look back at this assessment and see an overarching picture and say if there was something that wasn't completed or needed to be followed up, you know that the team of individuals who are involved, when it took place, bits and pieces like this. Then if it's a high risk for MSDs, you can put why you think that's applicable. And if there are any significant factors, tight deadlines, lack of control over working area, you can include these here as well. Then it will go through reasons why you may need to do a full risk assessment and if you do click any of these then uh, it would be recommended that you complete a full risk assessment. But if you have not completed any of these, um, click the next arrow to start. And so here it asks you to select the type of assessment you wish to complete. Is it a lift, is it a carry or is it a team? For this example we're going to go team because there's two involved. And so it will take you through the load, to, load of weight. This is something that you might um, re recognize through um, the assessment done through PDF, um, but you can have a look at the different team members and the weight that is being handled. How they are handling the item. So in this case, it's actually quite a small item. Where are the lift zones? The task, how are they, are they twisting? Are they working straight on? Are they struggling? You can observe and see this very quickly. And are there any postural constraints? At present, no, but you can identify that as well. And what's the grip on the load like? The boxes, so reasonable grip. You can look at the floor surface and then do an assessment here just to make sure that that's all fine and, and, and adequate. And you can also look at the distance. Are there any obstacles? And how is the communication between the teammates? Because obviously this is very important as well. So throughout this, you can see that you've completed the risk assessment and you've got some numerical scores. Now this is an additional section. Here, what you can now put in and type in is some control measures to potentially eliminate certain pieces. So is there any way you can eliminate the manual handling task? Well, that's normally going to be a no, but it's like putting in a mechanical aid or, or something along those lines. Can you reduce the load weight? No. Um, can you look at the different lift zones? So this could be where you could potentially uh, implement a dolly system. 
So there's lots of different things that you could potentially look through. We haven't put any control measures in. And so then here you'll put your email address in to receive a copy of the report as the assessor. But this will also be stored on the system. But if you want to receive a copy of this report right now, you just need to click and put your details in. And so that is how an individual would complete an assessment going forward.